Phil Eastman has a, a great joke about the difference between the Creole accent and the Jamaican accent. Oh. And now I'm thinking about like what Creole in bed would sound like to a oh, non. Please do something. And here's the thing: you'd have to really lean into the sexy because if you go with the natural inflections of "Oh yes, I like that," <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Here. This is episode number, I don't, what episode is this? Nine? Nine, I think. Nine. Nine. Okay, Nine, cool. Yeah. So this is your camera right here. Just Perfect. So you know. Yeah. Thank you. You gotta seduce anybody with your eyes. That's where you gotta go. That's all I'm doing. You gotta somebody with, with, with that chest. With that chest. Yeah. Hey, hey, look in here. here. Just look in here. The taco I, meat's talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost Tuesday. Ooh. Get yourself a couple tacos. Dude, I love Asada. the silver and gold. Yeah, thank you very I like much. That vibe. I am uh, I'm mixing metals, as all the old '60s people would say, like ill. But I think yeah. it's great. Yeah, I think it's great. Hurry. And you yeah. got two different earrings on. You're fashionista right here. I'm I am. I am. Yeah. One of them's fashionista. So fashionista. that's just fashionista. <laughs> Is that how you do it? I don't know. I made it up. Hey, we don't speak Spanish. Hit us. Give us an email. Let us know how we say fashion, <laughs> how to properly conjugate this one. Oh, don't worry. It'll be the first comment. You said this the wrong way, you dumbass. Mm. They'll let anybody have a podcast. You dumb today. bitch. That's, you dumb bitch. <laughs> That's why you're fat. The Literally. entire world talks to you like they're on uh, uh, a come down. No, <laughs> fucking uh, the gang from Always Sunny in Philadelphia with the way they talk to D. Oh. Like, you dumb bitch. Oh you God, birds. I didn't watch that series enough, but I you didn't do like it. Uh, series. It would have been great if I had just said that in one clear sentence instead of breaking it up trying to think of my words. <laughs> ah, but shit. that's the problem with marijuana. Guys, I want to talk to you about weed real quick. Oh, no. It is some of the most powerful, legal, mind-destroying substances that exist on this planet. Why do I say that? Look at this fucking shirt. I would never wear this shirt if I was sober, but I'm high on weed. Oh no, weed makes me overthink everything and then I wanna just shut down my my Instagram, delete really? all my photos. Yeah, I don't know weed what makes You go into panic attacks? Molly. Panic attacks. Oh, wow. weed makes me just wanna do Molly. Yeah. <laughs> it, there was an era of like it's just like it was like it was like promethazine, then it was like Molly, then it was like mushrooms. Then now it, it's just meth. No, 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 no. Then it was meth. Now it's fentanyl, and that's not a good time to do drugs right now. I don't know anyone who's purposely getting fentanyl, but I know plenty of people who've gotten it. Yeah, no. that's what's weird no, about fentanyl you, now. It's not a good time to do drugs, everyone. Just stop doing the drugs right now. Not powdery it's stuff. I wouldn't time. do any powdery no. stuff. It's a bad time. No, there's just people, do mushrooms. There's people that are dying. Yeah, mushrooms will never have fentanyl. Mushrooms. There's people that well, are getting Xanax never that are never. laced with fentanyl that you are know dying. The real problem mm. is, I think that Adderall is a huge problem. I know so many people whose lives have been ruined just by Adderall, and they've been oh. prescribed it. Oh, really, is it? I just oh, I just want to finish a couple puzzles. Oh, so we, I forgot what it's called, but you know that stuff that you that you inhale and it's like a nail lacquer and it's 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 like sex stuff. varnish. Oh no, is that um, what I like the nail is, No, so the sex stuff. What's that sex word called? Stuff. I bought sex oil not too long. I ago. always want something about? crazy and weird from Valeria on every. I forget the episode. word. Oh, my girl said it felt like icy okay, hot. Okay, first of all, you go. If you, it's kind of illegal, but if you go to like the the sex store it's and you say, illegal. "Hey, can I get that nail lacquer stuff?" Poppers. There we go. Poppers. Oh, poppers. Yeah. Oh, for butt stuff. That's all I've ever heard white people stuff. call it. But what is it helping you do better at it, mouth stuff? It, well, it helps you with your throat. Like it relaxes your yes, throat? Yes, it relaxes your throat, relaxes your sphinx. Fucking you should use that with bulimic Brush people, deeper so they can't like an do it adult. anymore. <laughs> what is this? Damn. A bulimic? Anyway, popper. Yeah, if, if they're bulimic and they, they can't even do that. Have you guys oh. tried poppers? Oh, no. So you <laughs> had a you had an impressive resume. You've been on uh Amazon Prime. Yeah. How long have you been acting? I know you're a comedian, but how long have you been acting? Uh, Ever since I decided I'm going to be a comedian, because what happened was I was sitting there like, I'm going to go both feet in. Yeah. yeah. And so I started to do like background work and all this stuff. Uh -huh. And it went along with being in those same circles, because if you want to act, you're going to run into people who have to do something else besides acting. So right. you might run into people yeah. who are dancers. You might run into yeah. people who are comedians or and casting directors, casting directors yeah, and all that stuff. So you think that comedians actually make more money than actors somehow. They, no. yeah, they, I could imagine they do from the standpoint of if you land a, a feature spot in a good commercial, that'll pay you more than most gigs will uh, for a weekend at yeah. a club. Yeah. Like a weekend at a club might pay you to headline 1500 bucks. For three shows, you know, across three days, but you might get four thousand for a commercial with Geico. Yeah, that's true. Because some comedians I know who are very doing very well, they don't have as much money as you think they do. And yeah, like, that's the big well secret of name. Ev of everybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> merch you got to do. Your yeah, that's true of everybody. <laughs> yeah. Of everyone, of everybody. Your favorite artist is broke. 
Help them. Send yes. them money. They need like help. This, send Guys, me please money. subscribe to my OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to drop some birch. Some birch. Some merch. Virtual merch. Guys, you can find it on Amazon. <laughs> what is birch. the today? I'm like, birch, merch? Fashionista? All right. Whatever. But yeah, that's cool. Are you, are you from South Florida? Originally, yeah. yeah. I'm, a, um, I'm original from South Florida. I spent my whole life just lying about where I'm from. And nice. the reason is because I'm from Florida and that's yeah. like the thing to do. Yeah, they're like, really? where are you from? Chicago. And they're ah. like, no, you're not. You're from Lake Worth. <laughs> they <Yeah>. know. <laughs> um, deep cut for Floridians. This is how we know. <laughs> this. How we know. this. I tried it's to like, pull this like out. It's like a Rick Ross kind of like vibe, <laughs> yeah. right? What if Rick Ross kept losing weight but got worse in the dress? No. Um, <laughs> no, nah, I, I, I think I'm right up there. I'm going to be okay. one of those guys. Thank you. Yeah, I love I'm going to be one of those guys it. that's going to keep leaning into every aspect of my body that yeah. I should. I think next time is called no shirt. I know. That's the point. It's because I should. Yeah, you honestly, I'm mad that you're in a shirt, right? Now. Just yeah. <laughs> next time, just don't wear a shirt. Just wear okay. two, yeah. two, three, three, four chains. Three, four chains. Mm-hmm. Rose gold. So Here's the nice. thing: if I walk around long enough, I'm gonna get fucking questioned, and I like that. Yeah, hey. because I get to be like, I'm a comedian. It's weird. I'm gonna go viral later, hey. and don't worry about it. There's a camera over there. Like I can do all that. You'll definitely get questioned, especially because we're in Fort Lauderdale. So they'll be like. What is this man doing? I can't think of anything worse as like a person who seeks fame. I don't know if you guys can concur with this or not, Mm -hmm. but imagine trying to do as much as you can to be going to like to go viral oh, and no God. one gives a shit. And no one gives like you've got your you like, shit in your hands and you clap and everyone's like Ugh, and they move on. That sucks. They don't share the video. <laughs> They're like some guy thought we would share that. Yeah. Fuck him. I burned it. That's literally <laughs> But that's literally most of the internet. I follow people like that. And yeah. Like, oh. That's the hard part if you don't have a skill, but you want to keep getting like famous going and going viral is you got to just do shit. See, viral comes naturally. You got to let the viral come to you. Okay, you miss you know? good personality over here. It yeah. <laughs> comes naturally to her. <laughs> um, it's all contrived. Don't listen to her. <laughs> this is all no, scripted. I, honestly, it's not real. I've, I think I've learned the algorithm. Mm-hmm. Cause I'll, yeah, because I'll, um, I'll go through our podcast and I'll say, what is controversial? Mm-hmm. What is going to make people comment? Yeah, or what's yes. going to make people pay attention in the first five seconds? Like boobies. <gasps> oh my god, anal. <gasps> I'm just kidding. Uh, right. And that will go viral. <laughs> yeah, right. I've learned from somebody about uh, the use of your cover art. Or yes. whatever clips you do. Yes. Like if you just go with giant tits, no matter what you're fucking making. Interesting. It should be awesome. Just giant story. tits right. as the cover <laughs> story. It'll keep <laughs> getting <laughs> views. And a black guy, giant tits is right there. there oh, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. White tits, black guy. Yeah. Boom, and viral. if they don't make us go viral, that's fucking racist. It's racism Racist-ized. to its core. <laughs> yeah. So much racist. Everything here is perfect in America. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, evidenced by the way I dress. Uh-huh. I'm on top of the world. Everything's good here in South Florida. Let's in South Florida? Asterisk, yeah. Right? And DeSantis is South Florida. You can't go wrong. Just go right. <laughs> That's a good one. Go yeah. right. Guys, if you ever need patties, straw hats, or maybe even a goat, come down to 441 and Sample Road. I'm never going to he- hear goat back goat from the president again. or milk? The goat? Yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. Does the goat have <laughs> milk in it? <laughs> Dude, and anytime I think of Haitians, I think of guys really good at dancing, like almost forcing me to dance th- with them at the club. The cool Yeah, club. and it's it's hard. Are you Haitian? Okay, you have a look. <laughs> He's like, hell um, <laughs> But yeah, we're, we're definitely like, if we catch the right beat, we will dance with anybody. Like, it's, really? like, it even it's a lot like of hip. Dancing. It looks like they're trying to fuck me. And that's why I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yo. Yeah. I kind of like that. Guys, I mean, it's called Guyad. Okay. That's what they're oh, doing. Those videos where they're like, boom, yeah, boom. pounding. See, when Jamaicans do daggering, it's bah, 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 bah. when Haitians do their version of daggering, it's a hey, a. Hey. I prefer the it's Haitian swirly version. Dick. You ever gave swirly dick? You know how swirly, she go crazy for swirly dick. You drugged swirly dick before? He understand. <laughs> swirly dick, swirly dick will, will have wow. you. You can leave them dishes in the dish in the fucking <laughs> sink with dick. with swirly you dick. Can cheat with swirly dick. <laughs> You better be swirling only her. Give the cheat the the fucking side piece up and down, <laughs> straight forward. Uh-huh. Girl gets swirly dick, and you can hang your hat on that. Hey, I may have cheated on you, what? but she didn't get swirly dick. I think when I had swirly dick, I've damn, been swirly dick. Call. I have a couple times. Yes. That's all I'll say about that. <laughs> I can't remember. I think it's a guy into straight. You know, but do you date, what kind of guys do you date? Um, well. I they like the you know the <laughs> rainbow like a little bit. The only the thing, the only person oh. I haven't dated is Asian people. Oh, swirly yeah. dick, big swirly typhoons. You understand? Mm-hmm. 
it's the same concept for them. Mm. They call it the Yakuza oh, special. New. Now I got to put it on my to-do list. <laughs> All right. So guys, if you please. have the swirly dick, uh, please hit DM up Valerius. Valerius. I, I need to, you know, I'm upset. You're upset that you haven't gotten, <laughs> nah, I, I'd be upset too. Have you gotten swirly uh, rides when a lady tries to swirl on top of you? Okay. You get it a little bit. Yeah. So here's what the thing. What is that called? It's called annoying. Here's ah. why. <laughs> Because you're up here doing some bullshit. Like, you like this? You like this? And you like, like this? No. And they're like, not really, because you, your stomach's now starting to move on to my stomach, and that's too much pressure. Oh. So oh, if you're going to, like, it has to be isolated. Like, swirly dick, you have to move your whole <laughs> midsection to get it going, because if you don't got enough pipe, you got to move the whole ocean. You get me? <laughs> so when yeah. she's moving her hips and all that, and she's doing that bullshit, she might, like, kind of rub you down into a fine powder smithereens, mm-hmm. and you're not getting <laughs> the kind of penetration and upwards mobility mm-hmm. that you need, because a good person that fucks on bottom basically fucks through the top mm-hmm. if you understand that you overstand it mm-hmm. that's interesting I've read this in the Cosmo article mm-hmm. Cosmopolitan article that oh, really? guys don't like, like girls on top like you know it's, it's really an art to ride a dick it's yeah. an art yeah. I don't like to get on top so that's good news for me me neither but when I do I try to like uh, do this I do like the frog where it's like up and down but like mm-hmm. to stand like if I do that to you just know that I really care about you <laughs> <laughs> you rode yeah cause Jesus. I don't wanna do that like I'd rather just I, I don't even like going to the gym True. I do but I don't like yeah. doing that it's, at it's the gym. a lot of it's a lot of thigh work a lot of leg yeah, work like, ab work it just reminds knees me knees on of- fucking E yeah. Smoke coming out of them right. we used to have to do these things called frog jumps as a gymnast and you would just stay down and jump like a frog and yeah. it hurts so bad. That's what I think about every time I do it. Oof. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you don't ride as I a, do, as a rule. I do, but like it, if you, you just if met really this like person, you. oh hell, hell, hell no! no. If I just met starfish, dude, what? What? one hundred impress me. Yep. impress me. Why should I see you again? Jeez, starfish Fellas, it all the way. Let's just let's call it bad sex all around, right? <laughs> you just nut as fast as you can. Like try to get set a record if you can. Just try it, to it won't be that bring, hard. Yeah, it the first time because she's starfishing. What's the point? Let's get out of here upset. Nobody should be happy when this is over. <laughs> Wait, let me ask you a question. Just, and be done. I'm just checking the, the connection at that point. Okay. Yeah. And the connection? The second- so he's just going to talk to you about Zodiac signs? What's your, <laughs> fucking, what's your fears? I probably already know that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, if it's good, then I'll, we'll do it a second time. And then if I do it a third time, then I probably am, am in love with it, you. Is that that, it's like that song. There's like a song, a, a oh, rap song, a song that talks about that. If I hit it one, one time, I'm a viper. Yeah, if, if I, I hit, hit it two t- times, then I like, like you. Oh, it's opposite. If I, three, if I fuck three times, I'm a wife. Yeah. Yeah. It'll take, it'll take, That's a shake, white rapper. It starts with a G. What's his name? <laughs> G-Eazy. Look at me. Uh, I'm 104 uh, years old. There's a song <laughs> within there, of course. Anyway, yeah, Cardi B. Yeah, you know what? I should have gave that Afro Latina her flowers. She's the lead, or is Afro, it Jeezy? She's I Afro love Latina. Cardi B. No, it's she Jeezy. Is, yeah. It's Jeezy song. And it's a yeah. All right, fuck it's that shake, white boy. Yeah, yeah. Shake, yeah. It, it, it. Right, anyway, he's fucked a lot of people. Good for him. Yeah, yeah. Not my type. Not your type. Did you try? Too white. Meh. Too white. Well, how white is too white? Rafa Ra. <sighs> if you're gonna be white, then just okay. be white. Don't like be like. Oh, white. you don't Ooh, want Cajun? Want you don't want no white. seasoning on your white? Just give me my steamed white fish. It's just <laughs> kind of annoying. Like, just be white, dude. You're white. Just, just be Tanner. Mm. Just be Tanner. Just be funny and go to like the Hamptons, you know? How does he have to dress? Ooh. If he's white? Yeah. Like he goes to the Hamptons. Really? Oh, boat okay. shoes. But I don't really like white guys. Short, but short. If I do, yeah. See, okay. I like white Polo, guys cardigan. from the South. I like the, or the South. Or the, the South, South guys. Yeah, yeah. And I will love me a cowboy. Mm, like a Texas white guy who shoots a, a big ass Spurs and shit. Truck. Big Ooh, ass truck. Who, who, like, who has a farm and has like horses. Those Loki are thinks 9 11 was an inside job. That guy. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. That guy. Ooh, super white. Might, there might be some of those in my hometown, but most of the people with trucks and. Farms are Mexicans at this point. Mm, really? There's maybe a couple maybe in, Texas. in Texas. I feel like they're Mexican. If you're in Arkansas, <laughs> chime in. <laughs> yeah, let us know what's going on. Yeah, let us know yeah, what's going on with the Arizona. Mexicans in your town. Arkansas, I as love relates to the white people. Utah. Maybe I only see the Mexicans because those are my favorite. I want a Utah, Minnesota, Arkansas. Utah guy? guy. He doesn't drink soda. Soda? Soda. He probably calls it soda. Yeah. He doesn't drink pop. <laughs> doesn't, it's just a glass of warm pop. milk every night. That's no alcohol wow. for me. If you're listening to this and you're from Utah, I've never met anybody from Utah. I have. 
What are they? What are they like? They're pretty cool. He owned his own house. He was a golfer. Aren't uh, he's, they he like was younger? Aren't they like that weird Mormon? Um, Mormon. Yeah. Sorry, Mormon people. But mm, not that they're all not not all of them are Mormon. Not all of them. But they have to live that way. Who's That's been what's there? Amazing. Who's been to Utah? I want to go, but then can, can we do my a comedy tour? On. Nebraska, Utah, Montana, Minnesota. We might get killed though. The undesirables. <laughs> That's what we'll call the tour. Oh my god! Look, I'm Spanish, <laughs> black, white. Yeah, we got this. We need yeah. an Asian. Is there any Asian comics in Florida? Yeah. Who? Who? Oh, Fuck. that lady. There's a girl. The lady. You nailed it. That lady. Let us know how you feel about <laughs> your being name dropped in the podcast today. Dude. Sorry. This, these, this po- our episodes Whoops. of our podcast are going to recirculate like 10 years later and they're going to be like, canceled. Ah. The kind of stuff we've said on here. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Um, Guys, it was a fun career. What can I tell you? <laughs> I got to see the world. We haven't gotten you people. to say anything fucked up yet, though. So I, admit, I don't generally operate in a fucked up space. I'm a pretty harmonious guy. Mm, boring. Um, I have mm. incredibly, oh. incredibly boring opinions that are Tell us more about your incredibly boring opinions. Um, hey, pee on each other more often. Oh, I'm a There is not enough willingness to like just receive a bodily <laughs> fluid. I get. You not being into poo because poo smells. Yeah, poo is offensive. Yeah, you ever smell poo that wasn't in water? Okay. Boy. Hennessy, <laughs> Hennessy. I want to go an extra step and okay. I want to say drink the pee. If, drink the pee. That if, is, you if you love, love somebody, drink it. Drink their pee. Yes. Be in whatever headspace you need to be. But let look him in the fucking eyes and be like, look at me. I'm a fucking pee in piece my of mouth. shit. I'm a piece of shit because yes. of you. Because mm-hmm. of you and me. Keep it inside, but throw it outside. I love Hennessy's opinions. Listen, yeah. you know, I have this whole thing about peeing, uh, drinking pee. Look, if it, if it is, I think you're, you have a girlfriend, right? Yeah. yeah. Fiance. Fiance. So, like, I think about it. Like, she, she's going to, like, drink some water. She's going to go through all her insides and then come out. I mean, that's like. That's as close as you can get. That is like the holy water from her. You know what I mean? That's as if she gave you her diary herself. Yes. And then you could drink it. Almost her diarrhea. <laughs> Just Almost. <laughs> Wrong hole. No. Not if you believe, though. So if you guys were to drink your significant other's piss. Would you just when you drink your okay, when you guys when you about this. I know. Like, that's why I was like, I can't believe he brought that up. I know. When you guys drink your significant other's piss, do you drink it straight up? Do you put it on the rocks? <laughs> oh, here's the deal. I'm like like I'm very particular with my kinks and stuff. <laughs> Like, I'm not somebody who's going to sit there. Like, that's not what's in here. Like, if we can get that. It looks like pee, but that's not what's in here. I would say I need to be unclothed. I can't wear clothes and have your pee around me because I'm going to permanently associate those uh, outfits with your pee. But in the passion, in the heat of the moment, I'm into stuff. Like, we're going to spit on each other. We're going to pee on each other. That's how it goes. Me and Hennessy. I've never liked somebody enough that I want them to pee on me. I'm so sorry. Maybe I'm a maybe I'm a black guy. Decide. <laughs> it's definitely a black guy thing. No, it's not. Don't you think email it's a us. White guy thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think white guys invented it, and black guys said, "What's that?" Like we were on some like uh, pop up over the bushes and say, "Hey, that seems interesting." <laughs> yeah, yeah. For sure, <laughs> for sure, a white guy invented that. Mm. You, you, All the weird things that people do, yeah. a white guy you can't just it. You can't just drink someone's pee casually. You got to be in the moment. I need to, to know their like, diet and all like, that, for sure. All, you know when you're like in sexy mode, it's like a whole different vibe in your brain. It's like yeah. sexy mode. And like uh, se- se- sexy mode. Okay, so click sexy mode, right? Mm-hmm. And then uh, and then you're in this whole other world and like in the throes of passion. It's like, yeah, pee in my mouth. You know? Uh, yeah. It happens I, like once in your lifetime. It's not going to happen more than that. I mean, I'm if it does, that's weird. What, the idea yeah, of pee in my mouth? Weird. Yeah, weird. Yeah. So you've only done it once? Not yet. I haven't found the right person. But you want to do it one time? Hopefully for the right man, like my, my like marriage. Or you want it, if I got married. Again, one time or as a recurring? Oh, uh, with my partner. You for like every time okay. you get, right, right before you get pregnant, you're like, pee in my mouth and then come inside of me. Yes. That's right the ritual. Got pregnant. That's yes, what the witch each, doctor yes. said to do. Yes. That sounds about right. All right. 100. That well, makes it a boy. If you guys if didn't you know. Out, definitely <laughs> knit them pee in my mouth. I want, actually, you know what? I thought about it. Maybe I don't want a boy. I want a girl, actually. I changed my mind now. So then my where stance. would they pee for that? I don't know. Maybe my ear. Apple. Listen. Oh. You must listen. <laughs> you must listen. <laughs> you can't listen. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right. So well, let's get real. Let's get real. Yeah, let's get real. Okay. <laughs>
I'm trying to get canceled. I don't know how to get canceled. <laughs> no, uh, this is great. This I don't have great. real opinions that are cancelable at the moment, but they will be in 10 years, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Someone's probably. gonna be like, how can you not see robots as an interracial couple? Like, I don't uh-huh. know. I just it's a toaster. Speaking of robots, you yeah. know, I really want to get those machines that like have they sex can with sit you. on. Yeah, and they just, you know, they just Oh, you just want a, a fuck machine? Yeah. They're like horny. The problem is they're like three hundred dollars if they're good. That's it? Guys, can someone buy me that? Dude, three hundred dollars is worth it if I don't have to worry about dealing with it's, another guy. It's like fucking this big. Yeah, you gotta take it you, everywhere. You can put different dildos. Does on it talk there? to me? I want the biggest one that does. It have. tell me like, oh, you're gonna be okay. <laughs> if that's the case, I'll pay a lot of money for it. You can it rubs mine. your back as you cry. <laughs> does it? Wait, wait. Does it thrusting in your butt it, and your pussy is like, Mac, you're gonna be fine. You're yeah. like, yes. I need that, guys. I would buy that so quick too. No, we're not gonna buy it. Someone's Don't gonna worry. Gift that to us, right? Everything will be okay. Yeah. W- would it pee on you, do you think, though? I'm Spankatron 9000. I, I would What's let pee? a robot pee on me. You would let it's a robot pee on you? Thing. That's motor oil. What do you do? I'm just but kidding. what if it had, like, vitamins in it? Vitamins? Yeah, it's like a healthy pee, pee sex doll. <laughs> yeah. Wow, you know maybe what? they do. They make, Brought to you I'm by sure Dr. They Oz. They, I'm, sure, I'm, I'm sure they make that. Make that. <laughs> I think they do. They should. If they, they should? Don't. We were, yeah. They, they should make... Adam and Eve, if you're listening, we need sponsors and also maybe yeah, put some do. vitamins in the pee pa- capsules. Please send me over your biggest, biggest dildo that you have and I will try it out in private and not on TV. Oh, see, I was going to say, you could start a whole fucking fundraiser thing with that, but that's yeah. that'll that's haunt over. you. You talk about fucking footage that'll haunt you. No, I would never put my naked body out in the open like that. I wouldn't either. I'm too no, shy. Maybe, yeah. I'll it's, get close, but I won't do the whole thing. Yeah, we had we talked close? about this before. I'll do implied nudes. Yeah, implied nudes. I've implied nudes on my OnlyFans for a lot of money. I want to look nudes. very sexy. Is that like, like naked? Hand? But yeah. Okay. Like, like almost just like like, like, like a, tasteful a nudes. You can't nipple, really see. Just like, I'm not like. Look at this. Oh, so yeah. like seventies Playboy stuff. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. But, but no covered nipples. nipples. No nipples. Tasteful. But no nipples. And no, no ass. Really. So the cover. It's not really even nudes. I'm. Just, it's just like tasteful nudes. Yeah. I don't even show my whole ass. I might though. I'm you guys little, are gonna I'm end up doing boudoir pics for the rest I'm of your life. I'm a little bit adventurous. Like you know how I really would love to take pictures like, of like a money, fish eye lens uh, of me like with a with a green a lime green bikini, and I want the like fish the lens to be like down here, uh-huh. and I want I want to be like this bent over, so you can see, you know it's all covered, but it's like insinuated. I would love to have something like that. It's very lime. adventurous. Very okay. Okay. Go to ratch in there. You know, ratchety. All right. So just uh, just to scratch at that itch to be like yeah. kind of depraved, kind of slutty, whatever yeah. connotations go with that. Yeah. But the nuns can't crucify you because you weren't yes. showing your bits. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Wow. Shout out to the nuns keeping us honest. <laughs> I have a question for both of you guys. When you're horny and laying in bed, instead of like touching yourself, do you just pour water on your head? That's some white people oh, shit. I, don't uh, know. I too have watched... Tom and Jerry, and I also <laughs> believe that cooling yourself off physically is the best way to avoid masturbation no, but temptations. You, so you, I'm saying, like, do you pretend that somebody's peeing on you, just no. like squirting a water bottle in your face? I'll get yeah, this deep right in the shower. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you this. Why not, right? Mm-hmm. So sometimes if the shower <laughs> is at the right temperature and I'm beaten off, you fill in the rest. You imagine. Yeah, you're like, oh, that's pee. No, guys, I don't get turned on thinking about that. Um, Quite the 180 we've made here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I only get turned on by that in, in a private setting with someone that I love. For me to get off a quick, I guess, nut, as you would call. Um, as the kids say. I would rather see throw pie videos. Throw, throw videos? pie? Throw pie videos. What's a throw pie video? Of Is Larry that when he leaves it? it in and then takes it out and then she goes uh, like that? <laughs> No, like that. Uh, yes, throw pies. This thing about cream pie, throw pie. <laughs> so she, she spits it all back up. Whoever. Ew, I don't like it. I don't like thinking about it. I don't want. I don't like that stuff unless I'm in love. I'm yeah, vanilla. I think I'm vanilla. I, think, I remember I the. Think we've established Mac is vanilla. The most. I told a bit. I used to do this bit, and I don't really do it that much unless I just want. <laughs> recount a, tor- a terrible story oh. but I remember the most intense pornography video I've ever seen was a lady who was in a bukkake situation oh. Oh, and no. she was receiving bukkakes receiving bukkakes and underneath her she held a large 
crystal bowl, collecting the bukkake specimens as they fell. And next to her appeared a man in a paper chef's hat with a singular spatula and a hot plate. I said, what's going on here? And then she said, "Mm mm-hmm. And I said, "Mm -mm." mm-mm. And she walked over to his hot plate, put the bowl down, and he revealed a skillet where he put down on the hot plate poured the semen in there he began to make an omelet i knew it was an omelet because he folded it three times when you're making an omelet a perfect omelet it's three times not twice not four times three times one two three he puts it on a plate garnishes it with freshly chopped chives hands it over to her she goes okay and i was like please don't and she was like i'm gonna and then she eats it and i've never come as hard as i have ever came in my life as the end of that video. Jesus. I can't. No, that is disgusting. Okay. But I have seen something similar. I have seen something similar. Yeah. Um, oh, God. Have, let me tell you the most intense porn I've ever seen. Okay. So, okay. It was not a Bukaki though. It was, this, uh, it was this girl. She was doing like deep throating or whatever. And then she kept throwing up like everywhere. She kept mm. throwing up everywhere. And then after she finished throwing up, right? He, he takes out a chili, a Philly cheesesteak sandwich. Okay. Comes on the Philly cheesesteak sandwich and then she's like, mmm, and then eats it all up. She made space. And I came uh, as hard so- as I. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Like, oh, ah, uh, nice. Okay, yeah. here's the thing the throw up. Was it Subway <laughs> itself? Was it like, get rid of this terrible sandwich and put this good I one think in that's you? That's what she insinuated. That's a great advertisement. She was like, for she, 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 she was something, she was, she was saying something about daddy, you let all my breakfast out. I'm hungry. And that's why she bust out with the Philly cheesesteak. Y'all are fucking weird, dude. I think people will know what I'm talking about. Oh, they, they, they will. It's like, a, it's like a viral porn that went on. That's what I saw. 800 million views. The State of the Union got 12. Wow. <laughs> what about your work porn, Mac? A gangbang? <laughs> <laughs> Women in their gangbangs. Let's talk about it for a second. Yeah, talk about Have you ever seen Lana Rhodes? That one's hot. I, I don't know if she's got she's one. She's hot. Like well, she's got a lot. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I don't know if there's the one. Oh, I've seen one. one. I think I might be the only gangbang I don't like watched. famous porn stars. I like amateur ones that I don't know. Uh, you I don't want, want cell phone their... footage. Yeah, I want, you want cell... some found I want, shit. I want some like, very like stuff that was hidden. The couple's not even together anymore. That type shit. Yeah, it just exists forever. New newbie on the scene. Like fresh. Fresh. Like 1,000 views. Maybe even less. Oh, okay. Yeah, some thumbs down. That's what I'm talking the about. The ratio's fucked. <laughs> God. It's like an Amy Schumer video. It's a 50-50. What the fuck is thumbs down? <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. This is Hennessy. He did this to me. He no, I know. I know. I just, I think it's funny how the first thing he went to, I was like, well, she agrees with you. <laughs> yeah, we're on the page. Mag is like, um, game bang? Yeah, I'm like, uh... It's so 1992. I don't know what to say. I don't even... Ugh, I'm just... Ugh, I'm uncomfortable. What's the difference between a gangbang and a train in your, in your view? Um, participation. Okay. <laughs> I feel like there's more participa- participation in a gangbang. Otherwise, it's just a guy going... Meh, meh, meh. A gangbang, it's like everybody's doing something to her. It's more enjoyable for her. Okay, so she's being fondled and... There's lots of penises around her and she's inside of her. Inside of her, she's dealing with everybody. Yeah. Versus she's a line alive. of men Just waiting for their, their turn. I yeah. prefer the line, actually. Uh, one is communist and one is capitalist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. We made that yeah. up tonight. Yeah, we did. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you prefer the line. You're, yeah. Yeah, well, she, aren't you from South America? You would yeah. want the capitalist. You want bread lines? Guys, capitalism works. <laughs> capitalism works until it doesn't. Yeah, but it still works. All right. All right. So, so or a 30 <laughs> minutes. Or a 30 minutes. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know what to do right now. We spent 30 minutes talking about sex. I know. Damn it. We should, we're we trying keep, to avoid that. But. We, keep, this, no, we were supposed fine. to talk about climate change. This was not no, in the notes at okay. all. Now that you bring we're that up, <laughs> climate change. Okay. okay. Isn't it been the hottest summer in Florida in our entire life? Planet. Really? Yeah, yeah, this is the hottest the planet has been in recorded history. Nice. This incredible. was the hottest summer. Yeah. So get out of Florida, bitches. We did it. It's all of it. Dude, it's bad. I don't know. <sighs> so what are we going to do about climate change, everyone? I want to move to Montana, but I know they racist. Like, it bothers <laughs> sure me. So, like, I want to. There's what, places what I racism? see that I'm like, okay, I'll be okay. It's people just judging me, you by your let skin me color? Explain it. Let me explain it. I'm, I'm the best one okay. to explain this. Okay. She's uh, a, as the founder. I'm an expert. As, as the founder. <laughs> as the originator. Um, it's when you secretly want to have sex with somebody, but in public, 
you shame them. That's perfect. Do you believe that, Tennessee? Um, yes, to an extent, yeah. but I think it's uh, even more. <laughs> uh, it's even more so about the uh, the aspect of you're so unfamiliar, and all you have in your mind is a characterization of a person that you lead with that, and it leads to you creating an enemy because you already thought they were. Mm. I just think racism is so It's so old. dumb, it's so bro. It's so played out. It's like boring yeah. now. It's like, so dumb. Are we really judging each other by our skin color right now? It's so like, weird. It's like, so I judge weird. you for other reasons. Like if you want to get peed on in bed. Yeah, oh God, so weird. iPhone versus Apple. Uh, yeah. Um, Android. Android versus yeah. iPhone, really? I don't know. I think, I think, honestly, we should just move on from racism. Yeah, can we just move on from racism? Yeah. If you, you heard the light skin ladies, yeah. drop if the if axe. If you hear anything <laughs> in this episode that is meaningful. Yeah. Let Just us know. Get please. rid of racism. Get rid of racism, guys. It's you so think they silly. ever? You think they ever talk about racism if the ho- if the guests ain't black? Let us know. <laughs> Write us an <laughs> email. <laughs> I don't know. It's annoying because I wasn't. I was try. I was in New York the other day, and mm-hmm. there was like some black guy hanging out of like a window, just hanging out, and it was like a really nice neighborhood. Next? Like what? No, no, no. Yeah. He, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! No, what I mean, like, New York. <laughs> no, no. It was like he was like the window was open. Like he, was, he was like sitting outside the window. Uh, okay. You know? And I said, I said, oh, look at that black guy. And then I said. How how was he living there? And then all of a sudden, everyone assumed that because he was black, I was trying to judge because it was a nice neighborhood. And I was like, that's not what I was saying at all. I was just saying, how can he live there? Because I would like to live there too. It wasn't about his skin color at all, but it sucks mm-hmm. that if I point out a black guy, I'm being racist all of a sudden. I wasn't even thinking about that. Mm-hmm. I was just wondering, yeah. how do you get that apartment? Because I want to like, I want to uh, live did there you, too. Did you apply for that apartment? I couldn't because I was walking and then I got all caught up with the whole... <laughs> <laughs> How did you get this thing I just learned existed? <laughs> I was so mad because the person I was with was like, you're being racist. And I'm like, what? Because he was black. If he was a white guy, it was no. the same thing. I would have been like, how is that white guy up there? I want to live there. It's about like, optics, though. Something. Yeah, it was something. It was just. It's, it was it's the just... optics, though. You got to know. If I listen, if I meet a kid and he's got no legs, I can't ask him, you know. You want to go for a walk? I can't do that. <laughs> the optics. <laughs> Obviously, he's going to wheel can. by me and I'm going to walk. Is it, is it rude to ask, humor you can. like, why he doesn't have any legs? Is, is it rude? rude? I think there's an age cutoff. Mm-hmm. It might be a little bit mean if they're, like, under a certain age. Yeah. But if they're, like, 105, fucking, like, if they're, like, if they're in, old, you can ask them. You know, I mean, what, you know what I think? So, if somebody's in a wheelchair mm-hmm. and their dick doesn't work, I'll feel bad to ask them about it. Yeah. But if their dick works, I'm going to ask them about it. Is that the first the question? Thing. That's a litmus test question. Yeah, because if does your dick work? Does, if no, your dick works, never, you can no further questions. Work. But you can still come though. Can so, you? How? How can you come if your dick doesn't work? I'll ask my friend whose dick works and he's in a wheelchair. Mm. But he advertises that it works all the time on his He's like, hey, media. everyone, it works. To he literally me. does. And I'm like, well, you know, I, I feel less bad for you because you can still come. Mm. Like, I guess that's all you need. If you're in a wheelchair, if you can come, you're good. You're good. I would just be sitting there all day, like, because Christopher Reeves, strong, <laughs> just jerking off. What about Christopher Reeves? Like, you remember Christopher that? Reeves, uh, the guy from Superman, the, the guy who like Superman. fell down on from a horse thing, and he was uh, oh, he tra- was so hot. He was hot, and he he got paralyzed from a horse thing. He was on a horse, and he fell down. He mm. he like fucked up his shit. And he quadriplegic. Was, like, it was a quadriplegic. Yeah. Does his dick work? I wonder if you can just imagine like. Christopher Wee's wife, if you're still Honestly, with us. Like, guys, let me ask you guys a question. This is a personal question. If you guys were quadriplegic out of nowhere, like mm-hmm. tomorrow, would you guys want to live? Want to live? I have to give it the old college try. But I'm not going to fucking be Rudy and just go through it every fucking... You got two weeks, God. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> you got two weeks to show Wait, me what? is worthwhile or I'm out of this motherfucker. <laughs> If you're a quadriplegic. What about you? Like, if you became quadriplegic tomorrow. Oh, my life's already been hard enough. Ding. You would have been like, bye. Well, everyone. actually, you not. You do that. No, it's just. Oh. You gotta get someone else to do it. For I would you. be like, I would I would go to a bar and order a spicy margarita. In, in, in your chair? Because you're gonna be. What if you just move your finger? Yeah. Stephen Hawking. Yeah, it will be Stephen Hawking. <laughs> I'll text Stephen Hawking <laughs> with my brain and order a margarita, spicy margarita. And just... Will that kill That's you somehow? It. I'm allergic oh. to jalapenos. Oh. Oh, okay. Are they going to die a slow death? No. It doesn't matter. Are well, you that level of allergic that it could kill you? Yeah. Oh, wow. Jalapenos? Jalapenos. That's crazy. So you carry an EpiPen. I do. I have one right here. <gasps> really? Oh, yeah. oh, goodness. I didn't know that. It developed out of nowhere. That's the weirdest mm. thing. I ate them one morning and I almost died. Anaphylactic. Yep. Right away. Right away. Wow. And I ate them the night before. I just woke up that morning and God was like, no more Mexicans. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so the juice 
the seeds, the, the flesh can't of the meat. I can have tahini. I can't have pepper jack cheese. I can't have spicy Holy margaritas. Shit. I never I'm you. even nervous about peppers, dude. It's so annoying. Damn. Now that it happened out of the blue, it could happen again to anything. Yeah. I know. Wow. Added a new level of anxiety, which is why if I was a paraplegic, I would be like, you know what? There's This is a sign. Time to die. It's time. Yeah, it's just, I've had a long enough fight. Mm. You know? I understand. It's a personal yeah. opinion. Yeah. Guys, this message note. is brought to you by Oscar <laughs> Myers and their Pepper Jack <laughs> Cheese. Coming to stores this Thursday. Is that your sponsors or... I am, in fact, sponsored by Oscar Mayer and their deli meats and cheeses. I'm glad you have you hot dogs. Did you bring some hot dogs for us? Delbasa. What does that mean? It's also a sauce. Oh, I love sausages. <laughs> Me sausages? too. I love sausages. I love sausages. The All bigger, sausages. Uh, the better. The better. No, I like them spicy, but I don't I, know if I eat it. No, more spicy for me. What are you mm, doing sausage. for heat now? Huh? What are you doing for heat for spicing up your food? Yeah. I'm, I mean, you're gonna have any. I don't else? really spice my food. Yeah, she's oh, quiet. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's, I forgot. I was like, are you doing scotch bonnets? <laughs> what we doing? Scorpions? What we doing? <laughs> I, mean, I can't, no, I can't yeah. spice, I can't put spiciness in my food. I, <sighs> yeah, I can't. That's crazy. I didn't know I about know. you. It just happened last year. Oh, freak. Fuck. Mm-hmm. No fresh wounds. Mm-hmm. Do you know how to cook, Hennessy? Very well. Really? Yeah. What's your favorite plate? That, that I've made so far? Yeah. I had, I made this braised short rib that I was so proud of. I, uh, it was red wine reduction. It was the whole nine. I had a mirepoix that going. It was, it was beautiful. Ooh. Top, uh, the meat was for the soft. side was a Japanese sweet potato. So they're a little purple and also had a cream spinach going. And, um, yeah, that was probably my favorite meal that I made. How do your recently. taste just adjust from something like that to piss? Uh, oh, very well, actually. <laughs> it's all alkaline, if you guys can believe it. Um, it's, I don't know, I think I just like, remember, I, my, the one that resonated Spice. with me was the lady eating the omelet, the cum oh, omelet. I so, mm. again, bringing it full circle, <laughs> it all matters to me. <laughs> the preparation, the anticipation. Yeah. That's what I love about cooking. I get excited about those little things. Have you ever accidentally slipped some into your fiance's omelet? Uh, that would be. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what her omelet would be. Yeah. Oh, you I mean like, like poison? Omelets, no, no, not poison. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, Guys, I just confessed to murder. <laughs> um, no, I. It, here's the thing. She has a couple food allergies that I try to take as seriously as possible. I we don't have peanuts in our home anymore. Penis. Uh, peanuts. 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 <laughs> Penis. I said not after the third one. Um. But no more peanuts in the house, so there's not really anything beyond that. And you know, her she's a little finicky about dairy things. Mm-hmm. But she's but have you ever made her like a cum omelet? No, I don't ever. W- I don't wish to feed people my cum because uh, I don't want to ever cook like my boys. Love her. No, I I, I, I don't like, want to cook like, my cum. I like the cum right out of. I like the, my the cum oven, that much. You know what I mean. I want it to stay alive as long as possible. Yeah, I like the cum right out of the right out of the oven, if you know what I'm saying. Okay. Straight from the spigot. Yeah, because I, I honestly like you know, there's I'd rather it be fresh and new because I love raw fish. I love raw anything. Like I'll mm-hmm. eat anything from the sea. And but not. But you won't thing. eat pussy. Um, I'm still like me. I'm scared of it. I'm scared of it. But I, I'm not against it. I'm, um, mm, I'm, I'm against oh, it. it has to be like the perfect girl for me. It has to be like the most perfect, perfect girl for inside me. Inside and out, beautiful, yeah. intelligent, name, name kind. Name one person. Name one celebrity. <laughs> uh, maybe Angelina Jolie. Oh, Megan Fox. Megan Fox? Or she seems like hers would be. I feel like you named two really? people who are not perfect. So. <laughs> She's like witchy. She probably eats all this witchy. weird food. There's blood yeah. in it. In yeah. Yeah. The, the thing with me is that like, it's all about personality at the same day. At the same <laughs> Megan time. Fox? I like I her short thumbs. Is. I don't know who she is. But like, oh. but like, I also like, obviously you gotta look good. I mean, mm-hmm. it's so funny how like, I, like when it comes to men, I'm like a little bit whatever. But when it comes to women, <laughs> they have to be perfect every angle. <laughs> like, what is I just don't want to touch their vagina. We've talked about this before. You know, I was thinking about this for a while. I don't know why, but because I've been, I, I've been dwelling about like, why do girls want to eat pussy? And when you really think about it, um, it's it's like, it's like the whole idea, it's like more than just the pussy. It's like the whole person. You know what I mean? Like you're down there, you make them feel good. It's like a very masculine thing. It's not really like a it's feminine a power. thing. It's a power? It's a power. It's a power move. It's a power thing. Like to 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 have control over that person's like, you know, uh, pleasure and make them have pleasure. I think that's the whole vibe of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm so straight, dude. Because I, I do it with the men, obviously. The men, I do it. Yeah. And it's it's great to see them all like coming. Because like when a man, when men like 
you know, make noises mm -hmm. during sexual stuff. To me, I love that because men don't usually want to make noises when they do. No, it's like we so fuck hot. like serial killers silently. Yeah. So when a man does make noise, to me, it's like, yes. Yeah. You know what you, I'm saying? You won. Yes. Okay. You've you pulled it, it out like, of A man doing that is like, mm -hmm, guy. Yes. Get up in her ear. Right, hit her with it. Right. I love that. If a, I love a vocal man in my ear just talking or making his little He's noises. Like, baby. Not like that. No. <laughs> I mean, some manly noises, you know, like, Ugh, whatever, you know, like, fuck, <laughs> <laughs> fuck, Ugh. I, I, I like, love it. I, love it. I just lost my parlay. You know, manly noises. <laughs> can you guys be making, can you make a manly you see noise? Did the Super Bowl? Can you make a manly yeah. noise or no? A fucking manly noise. Yeah. Cause I can't, I'm a lady. Ugh. Yes. Right there. That's perfect. <laughs> I don't think I like sex, dude. <laughs> Your face so funny none of this has like made do you me... want silence no the oh, option besides, okay yeah um, uh, man, um, is okay, like you silence like men noises, you don't like or men high pitch yeah what type of men noises do you like i am not paying attention to what they're doing uh, it doesn't seem I'm you enjoy it bed. yeah it doesn't you seem like you enjoy a woman. no i love sex but i'm not i don't like but you're masturbating for, for with me. people's bodies i'm masturbating with people's That's bodies a good way of looking at it that, yeah yeah that is true. If you don't give a shit what happens with them. No, no, no. I care that they feel good, but I don't want to hear them. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you don't want to, <laughs> if that were to naturally come out, you like, like that's an like, ick. Uh, it's, it's you're an just, ick it's yeah, ick. you're masturbating with their body. Dude, I, it's an ick. I don't want to hear all that. Yeah. So maybe if you talk, I like when they talk to me. I like when they talk to me. Oh, you're, oh, that's like about anything or vanilla, like sex stuff? Vanilla, huh? So why people think, oh yeah, baby. No, keep like doing that. that. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> like I like if they say like, I don't know. Like, like what are they going to say? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you like that? You taking this you, dick. You Damn. taking that dick. Oh Damn. yeah. Yeah, you taking it. <laughs> no, you're, you're, like taking it. Say, like, you're taking it. You're taking that dick. You're taking the dick. My God. <laughs> my god this like pussy that. no 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 this, like the vagina is so wet. wet okay okay this is what I like okay <laughs> cascading waves of I like Spanish guys if a guy talks Spanish to me in oh. bed I don't care what he's saying if, but if a guy starts speaking Spanish oh gosh I speak Spanish I don't know what to say that's oh, great. tu vagina está muy I've buena. I've never done Creole. Yeah, that was good. Tu vagina good. está muy buena. I don't know. Yeah. Or if the guy, you can say that in English too and I'll probably like it. Your vagina feels good. Yeah, I'll, not Maybe. like that. <laughs> Bebe. Mi amor, amorcita, mujer, mi amor, mi corazón, mi vida. Yeah, yeah, yeah there we go. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my God, guys, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Creole is, uh, Phil Eastmay has a, a great joke about the difference between the Creole accent and the Jamaican accent. Oh. And now I'm thinking about like what Creole in bed would sound like to a oh, non- please do something. And here's the thing, you'd have to really lean into the sexy because if you go with the natural inflections of, oh yes, I like that. Look at that. <laughs> That your your awesome. pussy feel good. Oh my god! That. Open that. it. Open your legs. Open your legs. Oh my god! Bones. So god god damn, but what's away by this thing here? It's wet. Look at. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I. That's so on point. It's crazy. That was really good. <laughs> oh, god. I would love to have Phillies me on here as well with with you at the same time. Who is it? Phillies me. Phil. Phillies me. Phillies me. I name dropped him. Name drop. Bill, oh, he's great. Oh my god! If we can have both, do you know who that is? Um, I don't know. He's I, a comedian he's just, from South he's Florida. Oh, yeah. okay, well, acting, got all that on, stuff. You guys got to put both you guys on our freaking. You talk like that. that the whole time, and then put Tony Dark in this. That thing. is an insane thing to do. Oh my god! You, <laughs> you both smoking in a Haitian ass. You, we Phil would get letters Tony from Haiti. Tony Dark together. Mm -hmm. It will be a, a bonanza. I, like, Ice yeah. is going to kick the door open <laughs> if, you know, if me, Phil, it's gonna and Tony like Dark are in black. here together. It's going to be a takeover. It's going to gonna look like a porn. It's going to be great. I love yeah. it. It's going to have Tony here, you and Phil is me over mm -hmm. here, and then it's going to be like, hey, party time. It's going to be a great clickbait. <laughs> Guys, this was a very interesting episode. Yeah. Um, that mm -hmm. being said, subscribe to my OnlyFans if you... <laughs> <laughs> We got if some behind the scene footage. You, you know um, what I mean. Onlyfans.com. Well, tell us what you have going on. Um, I don't know when this episode will air, but tell us some things that you have going on so people can laugh more. That's Guys, I travel a lot. If you're in Vegas, I'll be there in December. If you're oh. in Ooh. a cruise ship of any sort, I might be there hey, next hell week. Yeah. Uh tomorrow, let's see, this probably won't drop tomorrow, but I'll be <laughs> West Palm. I got a show there. Uh, improv in November. Dania, uh, Miami, I think, also in November. All of that can be found on my socials. Hennessy Wills, 
H-E-N-N-E-S-S-Y spelled just like the drink. Hennessy Wills. You'll find me everywhere with that same handle. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. amazing. We're going to get a lot of good it. clips of this I one. Guys, yeah. don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and pee on your partner if you care about them. <laughs>